Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to How to Connect with a Goddess Frigg. Goddess Frigg is the Norse goddess of motherhood and of marriage. She is the queen of Asgard and she is the highest of all the goddesses. Her name means to love and she's also a custodian of ancient wisdom. She is the all-knowing and all-seeing wise mother. She as a goddess is here to support you around the heart chakra and all matters to do with the heart and also with creativity. So anything that you wish to bring forth or give life to, she helps those that wish to birth from creative projects to babies to birthing yourself as authentic and fully embodied. So here are my top three tips for connecting to her. My first tip is to connect in with the element of air. In ancient myth, she was known as the goddess of the sky. Now, the sky connects in and symbolizes the element of air. And the element of air brings in to two ways of connecting with her. So first, the element of air is the element of the heart. And so reminds us really of her power in governing and supporting with all matters of the heart. So with her in particular work with the heart chakra, this means any work around self-love, around relationships, around universal love, mother love, love of nature and all of the things that you are creating and bringing forth as well. And also the element of air can be symbolized by the color blue. This is the blue of the sky. And for her, this was symbolized by the cloak that she would wear. So she was always shown adorned wearing her blue cloak, her cloak of the sky. <clears throat> and this blue color reminds us of her connection to the throat chakra as well. As queen to be speaking and sharing what comes forth from the heart out into the world to make difference and to be authentic so if you want to you can connect with the heart chakra and the throat chakra by wearing blue connecting to the element of air if you want to combine all of this into one object to use with her then that would be the gemstone amazonite so amazonite is a beautiful blue stone that really works with connecting the throat and the heart chakra together empowering you to work with the heart and also to confidently express and fearlessly share your heart. My second tip is to connect in with her sacred symbol of the distaff. So the distaff is one of her sacred objects but is also very symbolic for ancient ancestors of all women and women's work. It is quite a domestic symbol so it is the item that was used for spinning and spinning would have been used to make the threads that would have become and um, be woven into cloth. As a queen, this distaff is symbolic of her ability to create all of life and to be creating the thread that would have been woven by the norms. <clears throat> so you could bring a distaff into your work with her, whether the image of one, if you can't access one. Um, and just so you know as well, so you know, the reenactors might lead me, like might know, um, but this distaff is actually that which holds the thread. Um, so it's normally uh, kind of a long pole at the, with all the thread at the top. And then that thread, um, sorry, that fiber, that fiber would then come down and be spun on a spindle into the thread. So the spindle itself is really symbolic of the solar plexus. So that which, you know, and that place in that which we are creating using action. But the distaff itself is actually where you are holding the fibre. So therefore it's symbolic of the womb and the womb space. So it's really powerful to connect in to the distaff as a symbol of the womb. Whether you have a womb or not, that doesn't matter. We can still connect into the energetic and the blueprint of the womb as the container, as the vessel of creation. So I'd recommend also doing any work with the womb and you can just meditate with the womb, dance with the womb, create art. Um, if you have a distaff, maybe placing that on your womb as you're meditating, really powerful, or even just the image of 
the distaff upon your altar or in any ritual or ceremony. My third tip is um, actually to connect into her as a goddess of sovereignty. So again, she that creates, she that has self-authority, she that is able to discern between what is appropriate, um, what is right, what would benefit. So I invite you to connect into this part of yourself, your sovereign self, whether that be king or queen. And to do so, I do actually have some journaling prompts for you to use in this self-reflection. So I'm going to read them out to you, but I'm also going to put them in the comments down below for you as well. So they're written and you can write them in your journal. So the first question is, how can I invoke my creativity on behalf of or in the spiritual realms? Second question, what in my life do I need to change to reach my highest potential? And what cannot be changed, so needs to be surrendered and offered to the goddess? And third question, what inspires me to find my courage and strength, even when things seem impossible? So meditate with these questions, journal on them and think about your destiny and your courage and your potential and approach this with positivity and asking what is possible. And there are also two flower essences I would recommend for supporting this and working with Goddess Frigg as extra tools. And these are Buttercup. Uh, so Buttercup is for positivity and Sunflower, um, which is really bringing forth your confident, radiant self. And I have a link below about more for, about flower essences and how you can purchase them from me as well. So I hope these three support you in your connection to Goddess Frigg. Any questions, please comment below want to connect with a community um, that loves goddess and wants to share more about her wisdom and I have activations and meditations all of this is in my Facebook group again link below I'm also a best-selling author of goddess wisdom and goddess embodiment and I shall also post my link down below for you lots and lots of lots of links <laughs> there for you to come and find out all about my books so thank you for listening i hope this supports you sending you so much love and many many blessings blessed be